Hello and welcome back to another reaction. I'm Andy Knox and tonight I'm watching Blast from the Past. So I've seen a couple of Brandon Fraser movies and I was always a fan of him in the 90s and everything. I loved the mummy movies. I was like obsessed with them as a kid and I even wanted to become an Egyptologist because I was like, oh my God, Evie's freaking awesome. Rick's freaking awesome. They're going into tombs. Like, yes, let's do this. So yeah, I also saw like Bedazzled, which was like one of the best movies to quote. Oh my God, I had so much fun with that movie with like Elizabeth Hurley and everything too. And I also I also watched, um, I think, Monkey Bone a while back, which was just like one of those weird 90s movies that was just like, why am I watching this? But Brendan Fraser was in it, so I was like, okay, let's do this. So I'm, I'm excited to see more of him. I know he's up in the come up right now, so I'm just like, yes, let's have more of him because he's just so good. And my executive producer patron on Patreon, John Camp, requested this movie, so I was like, yes, more Brendan, let's do it. So I saw also that Alicia Silverstone's in this, and I loved her in Clueless, so I don't think I've seen her in anything else so I'm excited to see her and more I'm interested in seeing like how their chemistry is I'm assuming that they're gonna be like romantic interests and stuff so yeah I think I might have seen like a part of this movie a long time ago something about like computers and someone having a computer I don't really remember but I don't know I'm interested in seeing like what happens I know he's like stuck in a bunker or something like that and he's like gets out in the 90s and it's like you know a completely different world so I'm here for it I'm ready for more Brendan and yeah let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of this movie is and make sure to subscribe for more reactions. Also make sure to check out my Patreon where you can watch the full length version of this video so you can watch me watch the movie and we can watch it together. So make sure to check that out. It's linked in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get into the movie. Ah, I like this intro. It's telling us visually. I like that. They have a mansion underground? That's so cool. Calvin's a great guy, but he's a little, you know. Nutty? What's his wife like? Housewife. Likes to cook, pregnant. Normal then. Gotta love the 50s. <laughs> Tell me if you heard this one. Christopher Walken's in this, what? <laughs> Kennedy is going toe to toe with Khrushchev on television right now. Oh boy. Yeah. Here we go. Given this extraordinary turn of events, I think it's prudent we cut this evening short. I suggest we take a, a prayerful watch and wait stance. Gosh, I love the wardrobe. I'd love to have like a 50s or 60s party where everybody dresses up. This thing to blow over could take days. Honey, what if I go into labor? That could happen any time now. If I have to, I'll deliver the baby myself. Oh wow, so he's gonna be born into the shelter? If that's Brendan Fraser in her stomach? <laughs> wow, that's intense. Doesn't know anything else other than the shelter. I thought he was gonna be like a kid or something, or like in his teens. Home sweet home. To you, maybe. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, holy crap. That would make me stay in there forever, too. Literally hit their house. Dog. <laughs> This happened! Not that! Oh, Lord! <laughs> I love Christopher Walken. His freaking acting is so good. He's just so himself. He's like one of the few actors that's just like, he can be himself regardless of what role he's in. Neighbors over there said the guy spent day and night out here. Bring him sandwiches and hot Dr. Pepper. You drink it hot? Yeah. <laughs> good God. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes him crazy. The fact that he drank Dr. Peck for hot. <laughs> Good looking out though. If it was a real nuclear blast, he would have been set, you know? I just got the creeps. How could you? This is just like home. No, Calvin. This is different. <laughs> Believe me. Would you like a tranquilizer? You've got tranquilizer? <laughs> I told you I have everything. What? Oh. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh no, he read up on delivering a baby. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, dog. <laughs> it's interesting though, you think he would have invented a way to hear what's going on as well, instead of just shutting them out completely. Like, what if the war's over, you know? If it is a war, what if there's no nuclear blast? All that jazz. I mean, I need a guy like that around though, come in handy in case there's an apocalypse. <laughs> what should we call him? Well, I was thinking in light of the situation, we should call him Adam. From the creation of Adam. Whatever you want, Helen. I want a bedroom ceiling. 
Got it. No. I feel like all dads should aspire to be him. Taking care of the fam. Wow, they have 35 years supply though. I guess, yeah, creating their own gardens and stuff. Brilliant. It's giving me ideas. <laughs> She's shopping. That's <laughs> great. I guess you have to simulate the real life, you know? Continue doing your own thing, living your life so you don't go crazy. Hmm. Oh geez, did someone build a house up there? I wonder. Oh, they're about to. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of Johnny Rockets. I want to get a malt. Oh, best thing in the world. Your husband is crazy. <laughs> What's the big news? She's like, psh, psh. I can't imagine staying with the same people for so long. Oh my gosh, and they gotta be in there for 35 years. I'm almost 35 and I cannot imagine not living my life <laughs> and being able to see other people. Jeez. Hmm. I like that though, you know? They're stuck, but they're trying to live as normally as possible. Living the best life they possibly can down there. Tempest Fugit. Que le bon temps voulait. Glad the house don't mix. Haven't the advice. Never see later. God, being taught by someone that smart. Woo! It's amazing. Can't imagine. Jeez. No. Hi, huh? Hi. Oh, man. I wonder if they're gonna stay together during this. Or if they're gonna like break up, fall apart. She seems like she's kind of over it. What's baseball? It's a game, son. I explain it pretty easily. Mm -hmm. See, there's a there's a pitcher. There's a man who throws the ball to a man who has a bat. Oh, the nocturnal flying mammal. <laughs> oh man, how do you not teach him baseball? You can literally just get a stick and throw something, you know? Come on. And many more. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> you know, when we do go up, I'm gonna miss this place. How about you, Arm? She hates it. She's like, I can get the fuck out. She's going crazy. To be honest, I kind of wish that like the world had gone to shit so that then we could see like what the world becomes after the whole apocalypse. <laughs> like what if there isn't a president? What will they go to? Will there be vegetation? Will they repopulate the world? You know, like that's kind of cool. It's an interesting concept. 35 years later. Oof. Here we go. Wakey, wakey. All of these things ask you to believe in a power greater than yourself. I have lifted my eyes skyward, and I certainly have not seen anything coming from up there. Oh no, they're gonna come from underneath, and he's gonna believe in God again. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. It's the devil. Damn the devil. Damn the devil to hell. <laughs> If you want a boy, I can be a boy. And if you want a girl, I can be a girl. And if you act now, I may even throw in some free law and punish you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> what the hell? I feel so bad for this guy. There were survivors. The fallout has created a subspecies. Mutants. <laughs> It can be both. He tried to sell me his body, Helen. <gasps> Mutants. <laughs> Wash your mouth with soap, honey. I want him to at least see the sky. We will. A mouth. Do as I say. <gasps> no. Oh. Look how she moves the drink. Like, help your husband. Oh my god, she's just such a proper woman. She has to like clean. Oh my god. While I was up there and all, I, I was thinking, I, I was wondering if maybe I could uh, Make meet a friends. girl. Aww. I've been thinking about that a little, just these last 15 years or so. He's so adorable. I hope he does. Hmm? There's also something called a liquor store. Right there, there. <laughs> She's like, get us all the liquor we can get. <laughs> she needs it for sure. Poor woman. 
If you find a healthy young woman, bring her on down. Yes, sir. Meet the parents. <laughs> as eccentric as they might be. <laughs> this will be interesting. I knew it. He found religion. <laughs> Brilliant. Can you forgive me for my wasted life? It's not your fault. And now that all the decay is over with, things are going to get better. <sighs> well, I have to go now. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay here and pray. He's like changing his whole life. I'm interested in seeing like his journey. <laughs> is he gonna like get a new job, cut his hair, take a shower? <laughs> oh my lucky stars, a Negro. Oh my God. How do you do, ma'am? I do all right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh my god, I love him. He's so adorable. <laughs> I love that fun, like, Brendan Fraser stare as well. Like, mm -hmm. reminds me of Bedazzled. <laughs> Although these are a lot older than the ones in the window, I was hoping that you still might be interested. They're gonna be worth so much. I was hoping to sell all of the cards. All I have are hundred dollar bills, and I need something smaller, you know. How about I give you five hundred dollars in small bills for the whole box? That's a rip off. Please save him. This one mantle card right here, worth six thousand dollars, all by its itty bitty self. Oh man, good looking out, girl. Jeez. Adam and Eve, the perfect match. I hope the two of you will be very happy together. Oh my god. Her name is Eve. That's so apropos. I love it. Oh my god. Teach him your ways, girl. I'm excited. I'll, I'll make you a deal. I will give you a Rogers Hornsby if you take me to the hotel. Rogers Hornsby's worth like $4,000. So what? I got two of them. So for $4,000, all I have to do is drive you to your hotel. Uh-huh. And I don't have to take a physical in your spaceship? No, ma'am. Yeah, let's hope not, because <laughs> he's a good guy. He's lost, but he's a good guy. Listen to this part. This is where it really takes off. Wait for it. Honestly, hearing this with a stranger in your car, I'd be like, um, please get out. <laughs> You're about to murder me, aren't you? It's a cute song, though. <laughs> and my father taught me that in situations such as this, it's customary to give a tip. Father's a smart guy. My father's a genius. <laughs> Get out of the room before he murders you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my first night away from home. How old are you? 35. You don't look 35. How old do I look? 25, around there. I guess living up here makes people look older. Aww. He has like a youthful glow to him, you know? It's adorable. Natural oils, tropical fruits, flora. Oh my god, those commercials back in the day, though. Oh, bringing it back. Yes? Hi, this is the woman from the baseball card store. Remember me? Hi! Hello, hot diggity dog! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> hot diggity dog! Why not go to work for me? Helping me sell all my baseball cards and buying enough food and supplies to fill several large trucks. Brilliant! Yes! I love this for her, for them. So brilliant. I mean, like, what would he have done without her, right? <laughs> Look how cute he is! Wow. Yes, Brendan! <laughs> I would just be lost without you. And I guess, uh, I think that you and I... Adam, don't even think about it, okay? Believe me, it'd be a lot meaner if I didn't say it, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay. You're gonna like him eventually. She already starts to feel something, I can tell. But she knows something's up. There's something else I'd like you to help me with. Name it. Eve, I want you to help me find a wife. A wife? Yes. Coming to America. <laughs> Be an interesting mashup. <laughs> well, I can probably get you laid in two weeks, but to locate a non-mutant wife from Pasadena takes some time. Mm. It's so sad he's never ever been with anyone. What do you mean you can get me laid? <laughs> uh, can we talk about that a little later? Of course. Great. <laughs> Thought he was gonna ask her that. It's like Cher's first time driving, <laughs> clueless. <laughs> Flashbacks of all their movies coming together. <laughs> Well, I hope you like this. It's fresh sea urchin wrapped in seaweed or nori. I love sushi. I love Lucy. Who doesn't? She's <laughs> hilarious. 
<laughs> I love that he's indulging him. It's great. He wants to get to know him a little bit more, understand his, like what's going on. Why wouldn't you just go to Nome to get supplies and a wife? Isn't that a lot closer? Yeah, right. That's where you'd go to find girls. He's gay, by the way. Well, good for you. <laughs> yeah, so happy and so gay. <laughs> when did Alaska become a state? 1959. And uh, who owned it before we did? Russia. Mm. And when did we get it from them? 1867. All right, what's the state capital? Juneau. Hello, it's Anchorage. Gotcha. Mm-mm, sorry. That's the largest city. <gasps> Damn. Learn some shit in that bunker. Learning from the smartest. Where's he going? He's going to check your answers on his computer. He has a computer in the house. Of course it's in the house. It's in there. May I be excused, please? <laughs> That's what I saw before. He was like so enamored by the fact that he had a computer. <laughs> Poor woman. She wants out. <laughs> With her drink. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I started a cult. Jeez. Are you sure I look okay? Oh, trust me, you look fabulous. Well, thank you, Troy. Getting some new digs. Hell yeah. Eve, can I skate around your block? <laughs> How about it, Eve? Can you skate around your block? No. <laughs> Just a few laps. <laughs> it won't take long. Oh my god, I want to go rollerblading now. I haven't rollerbladed since I was a kid. I used to be really good at it, actually. After watching Brink, I had to get rollerblades. <laughs> oh my god, the Pacific Ocean is so cold. I could not. <laughs> I love how vibrant and happy he is all the time. It makes me want to like experience things for the first time more. <laughs> Oh man, I bet his family is going to want to stay in the bunker and he's going to want to stay out. He's never going to want to go back. You still want to go girl hunting tonight? Oh yes, I certainly do. <laughs> okay. Catch him with a net, hunt for them, bring them back, bring back the catch. <laughs> Vous parlez français? Oui. Moi je parle un peu français. Oui. Et aussi la pays d'amour. Bien sûr. <laughs> I like understood a little bit of that. High school French that I totally aced. <laughs> Dance. Do I dance? Why, I took a dance lesson every day of my life up until a couple of days ago. Uh oh, let's see his moves on the modern dance floor. Not sure what to expect, to be honest. I guess this is the 40s, so he'll know how to dance 40s style, right? Yeah, get it. Oh, nice. Is this going to be one of those scenes where everybody comes in and knows all the same dance moves? <laughs> Gotta love those movies. Yes! This is sick! I want to dance with him. <laughs> oh my god! Look how happy! <laughs> He's so happy! Hmm. <laughs> That is the look of a woman feeling some things. Nice. Ah, that was a fun scene, you know, like he wasn't making a fool of himself or anything. People like really enjoyed his presence. He was a great dancer. Yes, everyone's interested in him now. So she's feeling like maybe Oh no. Let's see. I want you to stop lying to me. All right. I'll tell you everything. In 1962. Well, well, well. Ah. Uh, Don't we clean up nice? Ah. Uh, he was just about to tell you his whole life story. I want to see her reaction to it. I, I must warn you, Cliff. I do know how to defend myself. Or do you? Stop ah. it, you two. I suppose. Yeah, he's right. Maybe we shouldn't fight in here. I agree. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, he was gonna... He's defending himself, right? Yeah, you're gonna keep going though, aren't you? Douchebag. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I love how unfazed he is, it's so brilliant. <laughs> oh my god, he's the best. Well, I suppose he's trying to make those dancers feel as comfortable. 
Impossible is possible. He didn't go home with them. Well. <laughs> he went home with Sophie. Ah, no! She's gonna ruin him. No! <laughs> go save him. <laughs> like the music she's like about to save the day <laughs> and tell him how she feels <laughs> and then that happens <laughs> Ready? Ouch. don't be such a baby oh i'm the baby <laughs> um he looks so cool and chill now he's like suave almost there's a song that mr como sings called On the Street Where You Live. It's a song about a young man who's overjoyed just to be standing in front of the house of the person that he loves. Aww, she finally gave in. Good for her, good for them. Kinda wish he would tell her like, what's up though, you know? <laughs> Let's not keep that secret anymore. Eve, what I would like to do is to take you with me down into the fallout shelter. We could live there with my mom and dad. My dad said that if I found a healthy young girl, that I should bring her on down. Why, Eve, you look plenty healthy to me. Absolutely not. <laughs> You're gonna murder me, aren't you? <laughs> I think it's time to call a cab. <laughs> oh man, poor guy. Locking all the doors. <laughs> Hi, Adam. I'm Nina Aaron. Eve tells me you've been living in a bomb shelter most of your life. Fallout shelter. There is a difference. Psych evaluation? I think it's the best thing. Mm. At least she cares and doesn't just like throw him off in the street somewhere or something. It still sucks. What was I supposed to do? He, he told me he wanted to take me underground. That's like Silence of the Lambs. It's crazy. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I've gotta love Brendan Fraser running in movies. <laughs> I need to watch Bedazzled like right now. <laughs> oh. Hey, everybody keep calm. That's the important thing. Who are you talking to? Oh, oh, He's like laughing. <laughs> oh man, you can just tell they all just had fun with this movie. Oh. I've got almost everything we need, and this nice man. And his church group have volunteered to help bring it down. But we've got to hurry. Poor people. Are they ever going to get out of there? Come on, man. The sun has spoken. Let's step it up. Leave my elevator alone. <laughs> That's their, like, scripture. <gasps> there he is. Drop the cards and everything. Oh, man. Why set the locks at all? I mean, the radiation's gone. To keep what's up there from getting down here. It's not radiation I'm worried about. At this point, he's just so used to that environment. He wants to stay. Our idea was to bring Adam's parents up to the surface very slowly and then break the bad news to them that there was no nuclear holocaust. <laughs> smart. Very smart. Oh, did he really recreate their whole house? That's so sweet. Poor people though, just stuck in the past, never really growing. We seem to have everything, but you know, it's not much different from a fallout shelter. <laughs> he wants to go back. Oh, I mean, he's so used to it. I feel that. Dad, there was no bomb. A plane crashed in our backyard. You sure? Positive. Soviet Union collapsed without a shot being fired. Cold War's over. The pilot bureau one day said, We give up! <laughs> Poor guy's never gonna believe him, is he? <laughs> the eccentric in-laws, right? <laughs> Aww, such a cute movie!
gotta love Brendan Fraser. He just kills it in like everything I've seen him in so far. Like, it's just so much fun. Like, it's so many things that he did reminded me of his performance in Bedazzle. And I'm like, oh my god, I have to watch it again. He just him being like cute and fun. I love his character and how he was just like so enamored by everything he saw. He was so excited and like, you know, he's having a good time. And it's just like, it reminds me to like enjoy life and just like see things for the first time again. Like, I want to be able to explore and enjoy things and like, you know, learn new things and stuff like that. And like, he just, he was just so adorable. And I loved Alicia Silverstone's character too, because she was like the one character that he first met that actually was like truthful to him. She actually like helped him out and everything. It was like the perfect pairing for like, you know, the way he asked her to like work for him and stuff like that too. I was like really curious to see like how their lives would intertwine. And I think that was like a really good like thing for like the writers to include that, like for her to like, you know, help him out in that sort of way. But yeah, this was such a cute little pleasant movie. Like it seemed like everybody that was in it like had just a lot of fun like doing it. Like I liked the deterioration of the town and how like they literally came up thinking that it was the apocalypse because there were just like crazy people like all around. Um, <laughs> the archbishop and how he went from being this like shop owner's son like you know in this Johnny Rockets like place to like being this like guy in this run downtown in the 90s or whatever. But I thought it was weird though that um, we had the voiceover at the end because I don't really remember. I don't think there was one in the beginning. But yeah, like I wish that there was either a... Um, the voiceover in the beginning or throughout the movie like telling us like what she was thinking at the time and stuff like that kind of like you know how it was in um clueless how like you know Cher was like voicing her opinions in her mind throughout i think i feel like that was a little just like added later on because they thought it would be interesting whereas like it kind of just felt like it was thrown in rather than like something that really was like a part of the movie and everything but i like how you know they wanted to create the little shopping mall or whatever that was at the end with all the stocks and everything and they ended up being like a really good team and a really good partnership but yeah this is like such an adorable fun movie like sometimes I just really want to watch movies that like you don't really have to think about but you can enjoy you know with some fun actors and everything everyone's having a blast like you know sometimes watching movies where like you really have to pay attention all the time and everything has to be like serious and everything like that sometimes it's just like I just want to like chill and relax and watch something fun and cute. So I'm really happy that I watched this. I loved Brendan Fraser in this and I'm really down to watch more Brendan Fraser movies. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys suggest any more Brendan Fraser movies because like I'm so down to see more of him. Thanks again John Camp for requesting this movie because I had so much fun watching it. I love Brendan Fraser and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.